Okay, so this is a short video I'm putting together to show you how to to maybe make one part of Redham House. So I thought I'd take um, the steps at the back of school um, and see if we can sort of make that um, in Tinkercad. So what I've done already is I've taken some blocks and I've sort of made the steps, but I haven't actually got around to um, putting the steps in and changing the heights. Um, and what I want to do is I also want to get a curve and the sort of balustrade sort of part of it. So what I want to do is I want to just have a quick look at some pictures. So let's have a quick look here. I'm just going to pull this across. So we can see there that the, let's have a, just have a quick look. So we can see there, so we've got that coming down as a nice curvy bit there. So I think I just want to get the steps in. I'm not sure if I'll get all of the steps in, but we can have a look and see what we can do. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just keep it simple. And what I think I need to do, these need to rotate. So you can see here, so I can actually rotate them if that would work. Let's just get rid of this. Uh, so you can rotate it. Why isn't that working? Go here, and let's, it's not picking up, so let's see if I can rotate it, and radius, no, that's it, okay, right, so let's have a look here, and that should, I'm just going to put 20 degrees in here, I'm not sure why it's not allowing me to pick it up, uh, let's have a look, so let's see if I can actually, yeah, it's doing it now. <laughs> so I'm just going to go through and think about how I can rotate these. Put 20 in there. Put back in there. All right. So now let me see if I can move this. It's going to be a little bit of a pain. Let's click on this again. Let's put that in as 20. Right, now it might be able to move it a little bit. Okay, so maybe this one needs to move back a little bit. Yeah. And that's sort of looking okay. So I think I'm going to move this one here for... Oh, let's come on to that. I think this one needs to move forward like that now. So I've just got sort of I've done it in three, so I'm just going to do that. Now, actually thinking about it, I've got a cheat here. So I could do exactly the same on the other side, but I'm actually going to just delete these blocks that I've put in. Because what I can do is I can select each of these. So I'm pressing shift and holding them like that. Okay. I'm going to go to copy. So here's my copy. And then I'm going to paste them, and I'm just going to move them across using the left arrow key. Now, what I can also do over here, there's a nice thing where I can mirror it. Okay, so I can decide which way I want to mirror it. So that's that. And then I can bring these in sort of like that. So I've got quite a nice sort of shape there. Okay, so let's click away from there. A bit slow. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm now just going to to put my steps in. I'm just going to. Sorry, it's been a bit slow. Now it's not quite right here, but you can see that I'm getting the sort of general idea. I might need to just make those a bit. So that one looks okay. Let's move this one down a little bit. Go about half the distance. My computer seems to be going very slow, which is annoying. Don't know what's going on here. Let's click on this one. Happens to the best of us. Uh, I'm just going to close some other programs down on my other screens. Okay, let's see if this now 
comes back. Uh, here we go. All right. So it looks like it's caught up. Don't know what's going on there. Right. So there we go. So all that is that. And that's sort of like that. So actually, um, this one needs to go down a little bit. So I've got my steps. So you get the general idea of what I'm trying to achieve. Now actually, I've been a bit silly here because I'm going to delete these out because I've done all the hard work on one side. So I should be able to recreate it on the other. So I'm going <laughs> to copy these again and do exactly the same thing I did last time. So I'm going to copy them. I'm going to paste them, shift them across, and then mirror them over here. So you can see I've got a mirror. Click on the where I'd like to mirror it, and then just put them back in. So something like that. Now it looks like these top ones, ideally, I maybe need to do sort of something like that on it, just to make sure that they tie up at the back. Hopefully you can see. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make sure that I've got a full overlap like that. And that's looking OK. So I think I'm just going to move this one. Just going to make it a bit bigger. So I've got oh, wrong one. Need that one there. Something like that. And just going along so I can see that there's no gaps. Okay, so that's my first sort of stairs. It's not perfect, but it's not bad. So hopefully you can see, oh, there's a slight difference in height there. Uh, so this one needs to, it's a bit odd because they were copied. All right, so I can just adjust these a little bit. You can sort of play around with it a little bit. Okay, and make this a little bit like this. Now, what I can also do is I can put a balustrade in. Now what I've seen, what I think I'll do, I want something that will make this a really nice sort of balustrade that goes round. So what I thought I would do is I'm going to put a block in here and I'm just going to do make that about the width. And I saw that there was a dome down here as well. So I'm going to put the dome. Now this is where I need to sort of play around with it a bit. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift this up and then move it onto, oops, going to move it onto the, to this like this and just make it like that. So I'm making Right, okay, so that's a sort of general idea. Now, if I zoom in, obviously I want to make sure that this all ties up. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to bring this down a bit. Oops. Um, so I need to bring it down. Did the wrong one. Okay, and you can see I'm just having a bit of a go here. Just get it all lined up. Spin round. This needs to come out a bit as well. Okay, I'm also going to make this tie up with the end. Okay, let's have a look. Not bad going. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm now going to take this and select that as well, and I'm going to group it. Okay, like that. Okay, now what I'm also going to do is I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. And unfortunately, I uh, we going 90 degrees. So now when I come back like this, this should be able to... I'm just going to change the colour so it's a little bit easier to see. Okay, so what I can do now is I'm going to put that in like that. So and if I bring this so I can see that it needs to come out a little bit like that. That's it. And also 
a little bit like that. Okay, so I've got my, I might actually just want to make it go a little bit into there as well. Okay, so what I've got now, and I want it to be a bit higher actually, something like that. Because what I'm going to do is I'm now going to um, copy this. So I select it, Control C or Control D would work. And I'm just going to move a copy off to the side because I think I might need that later on. Okay, I'm also going to duplicate another one. But what I'm going to do is I'm now going to make this a little bit smaller. So this will be like the wall. that okay and I'll make that a hole so let's have a look so that's not too bad okay so now I've got my bit like that um, I'm going to select both of them so now we're going to have both I'm going to group them oh and I've got a bit off the bottom so I'm just going to undo that if I select the hole, I just want to make this so it so I don't have anything at the front. Okay, let's group that again. And hopefully you should see now that I have that. Okay. So and what I can actually do, I don't need this one, as I've just realized I can do it this way. I'm going to duplicate another one, put it up like this. And then see if I can make a bit like this. Now I'm not sure. So we can come down here. And it might mean that I need to sort of move some things out just to fill in the gap. So what I want to do is have something like that. Okay, alright, so it's hopefully what we should find is that now I have my bits going like that. And if I select all of that and I group it together, I am hoping that I can now do this. Okay, so we've now got one shape. So we've got our sort of balustrade we can take a bit out at the back later on but now what we can do is I can take um, a piece like this take a box and this is a bit of a, a trial and error approach all right so let's just get that up to the top Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to slant this. So I'm going to sort of rotate it. So let's have a look. And I want to rotate it just this way as well. So where is it? One of them is here. There we go. And it is a little bit of a fiddle, this. But what I want to do, I think I just want to change the angle on that, make it a little bit shallower. And what I can do is not sure what I quite what I've done there. <laughs> Something a bit fun. Quite not quite what I wanted to do. So I want to do is try and get a slant on something like that. And obviously try and 
do that with just a little bit of a fiddle, but hopefully you can see again if I've got to make why can't I do this? Ah, uh, it's because of my direction maybe. Maybe it's a resetting the plane. I just need to make this a bit thicker, but I think I can do it like that. And then I think it's because of where I am in the plane. All right, let's have a look at that. And decide what I want to do. Isn't working quite as I I wanted it to, but yeah, okay, we're we're sort of getting something. It's just trying to rotate it really, and then if I bring this down, what I'm trying to do is to put a slant. So I'll show you probably the best thing to do. So I'm going to make this now a hole, and if I select this. I haven't done it very well. <laughs> need to fiddle a bit more. If I now group it, what you can see is that I'm, I've am i put a slope. So if you look here, I've put a slope so our balustrade will be coming down. Okay. So it's not quite perfect yet, but hopefully you can see the sort of things that you can get up to. So have a bit of fun and see if you can create some Redham House architecture in Tinkercad.